Oh. I don't know where I'm going to go, and it's scary. Each year, thousands of San Diegans face eviction from the place they call home. And with rising rents and mortgage rates increasing, experts say that trend is about to get worse. 10 News is committed to helping you make it in San Diego. As Team 10 investigator Adam Recruzen explains, there are regulations in place to help protect you from being out on the street. I'm sick. Just minutes into our conversation, Margot Velez broke down. The gravity of the situation, too much to handle. In a little more than a week, she may end up on the street. On November 5th, my family and I are going to be homeless because it's very hard to find places. Margot is being evicted from her apartment, the place she's called home for nearly a decade. Have you ever been out before? No. This, this is my place to be. There's a dispute about whether or not she's paid the rent. Margot says she's up to date. She says the owners of the apartment claim she's about $3,000 behind. That's close to three months rent. Is there a possibility you end up on the street? Yeah, a real possibility. Margo is just one of thousands of San Diegans facing eviction. According to San Diego County court records, there were more than 9,000 unlawful detainer cases filed last year. Evictions are on the uprise in San Diego, and it's largely because there's just a depletion of rental stock. Christian Curry is a tenant's rights attorney with the Tenants Legal Center. Really what it is is they get behind on their rent, and by the time they come to us, usually they even have the money to pay it, but the landlord just won't take it anymore. He says rents are going up, and many people can't keep up. But in San Diego, there are laws put in place to help protect you. He helped write them in what's known as the tenant's right to know ordinance. In San Diego, we've got what's known as eviction control. If you've been in your place for more than two years, you should be able to stay. The only things that could get you out were if you weren't paying rent, you were being a nuisance, or the owners wanted to move back in. If you've messed up or haven't been in your home for more than two years and you're facing eviction, here's the short version of how the process works. Know that landlords can't just shove you out the door. First, the landlord serves a three-day notice to pay or a notice to terminate. If nothing's done, the landlord can then file an unlawful detainer, an eviction lawsuit. Things move ahead to either judgment or a court trial. If you lose, the entire thing could be over in less than a month. If there are legal mistakes along the way, you can challenge and potentially stay in your home. Curry says know your rights and talk to your landlord ahead of time. You may be able to work out a deal that benefits everyone. One of the prerequisites for an unlawful tenant is a three-day notice to pay rent or quit. And what I've always said is, look, if the, if the tenant gives you four days rent, take it and give them a new notice. Margot remains hopeful. I'm praying that God helps me. And the landlord told us that they do work with tenants and some of those residents are behind there in the eviction process due to continued lack of payment. Lawmakers are trying to help people in need. Recently released the Rent Relief Act of 2018, the sponsor, Senator Kamala Harris. It would create a new tax credit to put more money in the pockets of families to help keep them where they live. The city of San Diego is also looking at new ways to create more low-income housing. Adam Rakusen, Team 10. Adam, thank you. And we want to hear from you. What are the issues that concern you when it comes to making it in San Diego? Email us at tips at 10news.com or message us at facebook.com slash ABC10news.